Okay, here we go. Let's get working on this. I'm going to raise this up just a tad. There we go. That should do it. Okay, so I'm going to just start right in here. Get my handy dandy uh, tea. Do that right there. Move this over with so I get my big fat head out of the way. I'm just sketching out the building still here. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Do, 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 do. I saw a thing posted on Facebook, but I think it was, oh no, I think it was Instagram. I take that back. Same thing. But uh, it, uh, it said, post, uh, what we, the song was that was number one when you were 23 is how you're. 2023 uh, will go and uh in my case it was diana warwick's uh that's what friends are for <laughs> i have no idea what that, that means now <laughs> all right we're gonna go here too do, 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 do. now i got you you know the way to san jose <laughs> oh, man, it does not take much here. Okay, we're going to do this. A little more white. Hello, Anthony. <laughs> Is she still alive, Anthony? Uh, <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I always thought she had an interesting voice. That was kind of that. Um... Oh, she has. Okay, I, I, I was thinking that was the case, but I couldn't, couldn't remember. Do you know the way to San Jose? <laughs> Color here is Mars, Mars, Mars. Hello. Add a little more Mars, yellow. There we go. Do you know the way to San Jose? <laughs> Actually, I'm going to move that over. Yeah. Get my handy dandy tea out again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Now I got that song stuck in my head. <laughs> I had a pretty popular song when I was growing up. She has a few hits. Hmm. Do you know? Yep, I'm gonna have that in my head. <laughs> Deanna Warwick. She was a pretty class act, I tell you. So I'm going to get my handy dandy T square again. Oh, that's cool. All right, I got to watch uh, Queen Latifah, but that was her jazz concert. And I forget. Oh, I, I can't think of her real name, but uh, it was so cool because she ended it in Tacoma, where I lived at the time, and uh, it was just a really cool thing because she did it in the Pantages, and the Pantages is not a very big theater, and so you were really up close to her, so it was really nice, and and, and which, that was her last of the tour, and her dad came out on the stage, and, uh, and a couple friends of mine. I, I, I read later that she had a lot of friends in Tacoma, so that's why she decided to end it there, that, that, that particular tour. So I thought that was kind of cool. I, I really liked that jazz album that she came out. You didn't realize she had such a great voice. You know, you think of the rap and all that stuff, but she had this amazing voice. Do you know the way to San <laughs> Yep, that's going to be in my brain. Yep, get the handy dandy T square again. Oops. I have good memories of Tacoma. It's a bit of a rough community, but I, I have a Pretty good memories of it. Some happy times there, that's for sure. I do do love the um, they have a big port there at Tacoma, and it uh, it's really fun to watch those huge ships coming in and out of there. Portland has a, it's a port city, but it's on a river and it's a little different. Boy, they had the fog there in uh, Tacoma. It rivaled. Rivaled San Francisco. It was just, gosh, you just couldn't even see anything. Who, who knows a way to Santa Fe? <laughs> yep, I'm gonna have that song going through my head. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it was a Carol, some, uh, it's her real name. And, uh, and and I remember being interviewed by Terry Gross on uh, NPR. And uh, she said, I, nobody knew you had this jazz. And she says, well, the money was in rap. <laughs> that's what she told her, you know. And, uh, and so that's why she went with the rap. But, uh, she said, but uh, yeah, very good. Very talented. Just getting these buildings in here. I forgot I have this is Martin Luther King weekend coming up. Yeah.
I might get a different brush here. Now, Terry Gross, I really, uh, I haven't uh, listened to NPR in a while, but well, she knew, knew how to interview. I'll tell you that one. I remember when she interviewed Don, uh, John McCain. This was after he lost his bid against George W. Bush for the nominee nomination for the Republican Party. And, and he, he actually thanked her at the end of the interview. He says, I want you to know that was the best interview I think I've ever had. <laughs> She said, well, thank you. <laughs> well, she said it was tough, but it was good. It was, you know, that, that was interesting. <coughs> yep, I'm going to have that song in my head. And blue to this. Uh, I think, in my opinion, a lot of news has just gotten so it's just talking heads. <laughs> uh, now she is a very good interviewer, that is for sure. this here. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, see what I want to, uh, that other bar, I got to see what I want to switch out of. Try to minimize my have to move paintings back and forth and stuff like that. I, I pay this to uh, one friend of mine, you know, and kind of need to make it uh, worth my while. Yeah. Do you know? Oh. I remember I had a project in college, and this, you know, when I, that project would have been about 1984 time frame, and uh, and what we, we did, we followed a news, a major news uh, event, and uh, uh, reported on how each uh, uh, how each um, where would I say it, a media outlet covered it, you know, and you picked like three or four. And at that time, though, for U.S. news, by far the best was um, it was uh, it was a uh, PBS NewsHour. That was by far the best, and then probably followed by like CBS or something like that at the time. And then uh, the CBC, uh, CBC uh, News uh, Canada was excellent, and the BBC just blew us away. And then. Uh, uh, magazines, The Economist was a British publication, blew us out of the water. There wasn't anything to touch them in this country. And then uh, I don't know if that's all true anymore. And then, of course, the news, uh, the radio was NPR. That was for the U U.S. Yeah, a bolt there, that's all right. Okay, 
fucking sidewalks and all that stuff in here. We got a ways to go on this one. I'm not going to keep steady at it because I really need to keep building my stock up. Well, I have to uh, do some switch outs. Hold on. As <coughs> I say, you're coughing here, but um, uh, I have to do some uh, switching out. This, uh, I can't believe how fast this month is going already. I mean, we're already 10 days into it. Or not nine, I guess, but uh, it's just just amazing. And I, I have to switch out some paintings on the 29th. So I got to be really careful how much I switch out at uh, at this other bar. But some of those are actually going to come over. So that's what I'm saying. I got it. It's all uh, logistics. Problem with the other bar for me, they don't open until four. He, he's willing to come in a little early. But four, it's like, ah, that's that's kind of hard. But I, I got to figure this out. Boom, 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 boom. It's so funny when people say, oh, you're up. Only a week into it, and I said, do you be surprised how fast that one week is going to be gone? And then we're gone with the month. <laughs> That's how it works. Do you know the way? Oh, Peggy. Uh, not much. I mean, uh, uh, there's some of the famous ones. Uh, uh, and of course, now that completely escapes my head. So, yeah. do, 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 do. do you know the way? All right, get this in here. So, what I'm going to do now is start. It's kind of like the sun has just gone down. So, you're getting all the lights coming up. And we're going to have the sun kind of come in this way. Do you know the way? Is that the thing? Dun, dun, ba, dun, boom. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Frank Franzetta, that's one I could just finally popped in my brain. He probably was one of my favorites. And then I got to, I just got a book too. Yeah, I can't say the, the name right now off the top. He was famous for even some of the Star Wars illustrations and stuff. So that was kind of cool. Oh, yep. Just establishing light. Mm -hmm. 
That's in here. It's established, getting the shapes established here and everything else. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna have that song in my head. Just, just sketching right now. Kind of get an idea how this place looks. I used to do a science fiction illustration way back in the 90s. Uh, that was a uh, Primarily trading card game called Companion Games. That was fun. That was a for a while there. I actually thought, "Whew, man, I'm going to make it here." But in reality, <laughs> yep, I'm going to have that song in my head. We'll change these buildings up, but we're just getting them set up in here. Yeah, I need to. It's another thing to watch. Don't. All right, that actually should be fine. So, how is everybody today? Hope everybody's doing good. Living a life, the dream. <laughs> Say, oh, I, I got to check tomorrow. I'll probably be a billionaire tomorrow because I'm going to win the Mega Millions. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I tell you, like I said, I have one rule. No line, one ticket. <laughs> the odds are so ridiculous as it is, they're not really improving your in your chances at all by buying a whole bunch of them. Hello, Merrick. Ding, boom, 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 boom. I've been having, do you know the way to San Jose goes in my head? Oh. Do you know the way? Boom, 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 boom. Yep, that's going to be in my head for a while. We'll modernize these buildings a little bit too. Make them a little more futuristic. But right now, we're they're just getting <coughs> set in place here. Yeah, and I have a, a book in my bedroom right now that I've been thumbing through. A, a friend loaned it to me, and so it's kind of cool. I can't think of his name off the top of my head. He's very famous, too. Now, there's some really good science fiction artists out there. There really is.
such a small brush. Yes, getting it all set in here. I'm going to be working on this this week. Hopefully I could get this one done this week. That'd be that'd be really nice. Like I said, I kind of looking at my supply. I need to so far I, I think I've sold nine paintings. But that was as of Saturday. So um it's hobby paid for again, so that's good. That's good. But that means all of those for sure will be coming out of the show. Anything else is sold, so I got to be able to put ones in their space. I don't think Mon Monroe would be terribly thrilled with me if they had blank walls. <laughs> so this weekend I might be doing some marathon rounds. <laughs> Actually, that could be true. Probably have the shadow goes part way up the these buildings here. Do you know the way? Okay, I'm gonna have that song in my head forever. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know about jazz. Probably on Wednesday. It's all going to depend on how tired I am. The last time I went down there, I, I got a little tired, and I think I was starting to get a little bit crabby too. You know, I sometimes you just have to say to heck with it and stay in. <laughs> that's a long day because I'm usually up by about 3:30 that day, and that just makes for a very long day. More blue out here. Blue, blue, impressions of blue. Okay. Oh, my brown. Oh, my brown. There we go. Do 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 Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, started off a little slow, but then picked up. So, like I said, I knew I had to sell, I think it was seven. Uh, uh, the seven, the combination of uh, the small ones and the big ones, or or five of the big ones. And I did seven, now we're at nine, so doing good. I was there when one person sold, so bought one. That's always kind of cool. She was thrilled. Yep, I know that song on the head.
get in there, getting the colors in there. And you'll start seeing where I'm going with this. I had to get these in so we could start getting the shading and the light effects. We're going to have a lot of signs going down this uh, street here. Yeah, I always said it wasn't about the sales, but it does make you feel a lot better. And plus, it's a relief that the hobby gets paid for. <laughs> Guys, that hobby's not the cheapest in the world. A little extra money in the pocket and keeps me entertained, that's for sure. Some people do video games. I do paintings. <laughs> okay. Get my handy dandy tape out here. Get my handy dandy T square here. So I'm stuck in my head. I know it. <laughs> uh, earworm. Hello, Larry. Starting to get some progress going here. Oh, darn it, I didn't. Of course, now the tape is stuck to it, so. Arrgh! Arrgh! I tell you. <laughs> yeah. Now it's stuck to my finger. Ah, great. There we go. Ah. 
I didn't know that. Heck with it. Let me get there. We go. Let's do that. Tired myself. Full conversation. And I'm trying to keep from going in front because I think you guys said you can hear it focusing. Well, do what you can do. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm just going to get a new roll of tape out of here. The sound of Star Wars. <laughs> Oh, there you go. That was a nice burp. <coughs> Excuse me, goodness. I should have that over here. That I keep pass right in front of the darn camera, and that's not good. I should put this over here. There we go. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Thank you. Like I said, if you're not having fun painting or being in art or watching art or something like that, then stop. <laughs> And this is our this is our uh, break from all the crap that's going on. <laughs> I I remember years ago. I I think I already told you this, but. Uh, I had somebody send me a message on my Facebook and complain about my greetings in the morning. She says, you're too cheerful. I was like, it's better than all the negative stuff. And then she promptly, uh, uh, not only did she, she blocked me and uh, deleted me. <laughs> it was like, wow, I'm sorry. I'm cheerful. You know? Good morning. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend by saying good morning. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. I can't believe it. I used to, you know, she says, I am so sick of your Greensland. Don't look at them. <laughs> it's just, it was so funny. Sad in its own way, you know. Good grief. Cheer up. <laughs> Do 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 do
Do you know the way? God, I'm going to have that song. Yep, permanent. I'll be sitting there trying to sleep and I'll go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh no what happened is somebody posted on facebook and they says the number one song when you were 23 is going to be what your life is in the year 2023 and the number one song was actually deanna warwick's uh uh uh, that's what friends are for. That was the number one song. And so, and then at, at, at Scandals, uh, uh, one of the guys convinced the bartender to put on uh, uh, a couple of Deanna Warwick things. <laughs> that's what got all this going. It's just funny. Yes, wasn't it? Uh, Whitney Houston was her niece, I believe. So sad that she got into all those drugs and stuff. That's always sad. But that's a sad moment. Yeah. Where are you getting this? Starting to get the detail into this place here. Oh, yay. <laughs> Okay, joke. Sketching more of this out. That part's just going to do that again. Stick that over here. I might get myself a little tape rack over here. Ah, <laughs> uh, I have to tell you, I think I told you that story. It was so funny early in the morning on the, on the Max, which is our light rail here in Portland. And, um, uh, this old gentleman, and I'm going to say, oh, I'm, I'm going to suggest he's in his mid uh, 70s, you know, and he had a little radio and he, he was playing Frank Sinatra. We we're going up over the steel bridge listening to Frank Sinatra. It was like a, uh, it was like a scene out of the Twilight Zone, but it was fun. Nobody complained. It was just kind of fun, you know. <laughs> Start spreading the news. <laughs> yeah. It was just funny. It was a. It was such a. It was like a scene out of the Twilight Zone. <laughs> yep. Now I got a hat going through my head. That's it. <laughs> okay. We're starting to. Starting to come together now. That's going to have windows there. Winders, as my grandma would say. <laughs> yep. Let's get there. Our tape again here. It's kind of like an exercise in uh, uh, perspective here. Got our vanishing point. Oops, that's a blob there and a half. Holy crap. Yeah, I always watch that when you do a get a big blob on there get it off there you'll regret it's there especially if you have a show or something like that if you have a big blob that dried and you think take care of it you know i guarantee you the way they have the lights on the wall everybody will see that blob <laughs> in there been there <laughs> i just every time i go in there it's like oh why didn't you get that fixed mike 
Mm -hmm. Hello, Dan Tart. How are you? Doody dum. Doody dum. We're gonna have a whole bunch of neon lights coming down here. That's that's kind of the general plan going on right now. Oh, thank you. I got a ways to go, but <coughs> it's kind of it's a yeah. It's gonna be fun. I, I um, I'm gonna be pushing hard on it this week. Um, I'll I'll be back on tomorrow and Wednesday and probably Thursday. Uh, maybe Wednesday. I'm not 100% sure. It's going to be how I feel if I want to go back, back downtown. That's a push for me on Wednesdays because I'm up so early on Wednesdays. So, but that's kind of the plan. So, like I said, I got to go through a lot of art because I've got to do some switching out of things. And uh, so we're another, let's get some uh, windows on that one here. Yeah. <laughs> I still try to do these live, but I got a couple that I've got um, that I'm probably going to have to. Uh, and you start realizing you're running out of time quickly. <laughs> And I might actually have something going on Thursday. I'm not positive yet. So uh, that might be another day taken away from me. But I do have a three day weekend coming up. So I'll put it to good use. Handy dandy T square here. I'm just going to set that here because I'm going to be needing it again. Whoa. All right. <laughs> so 
see what one did I use. Sometimes I go top one or the bottom one. Okay, this is the bottom one. And that makes a difference. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Kind of like, kind of like, yeah. I keep forgetting what side I'm doing. Kind of like the old section of Vegas. I guess I love going to Vegas, but the last time I was there, which is getting to be a while back, but man, that got expensive. I mean, at one time, Vegas was so known for the cheap foods, uh, cheap, good food, cheap hotels, but nice hotels, nice pools. They made their money off everybody gambling and losing, you know, and uh, uh, then all of a sudden, I think the bean counters took over there and uh, off, off the... <laughs> I even I, I actually had a rum and coke at the pool at the uh, uh, stratosphere and it was twenty two dollars. Yeah, and I was like, well, I don't think so. <laughs> that same rum and coke at Scandal, even though I don't I don't drink those anymore. I used to drink them all the time, but but it's three bucks at happy hour. <laughs> same one. Probably actually has more booze than, well, of course, Scandals is known for their booze. Uh, I always remember one time, I used to drink vodka and uh, sevens, too, and uh, one of the bartenders just filled it up with vodka, and I looked at him, and, and, I, and, and he goes, oh, it's the seven up. And it actually, and this is a true story, it actually uh, hit the ice, and it bounced onto the bar, so I had a vodka. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Now, a lot of times, the drinks were free there if you were gambling. They just, at least, like I said, I haven't been back in a long time. So, uh, but I was, it just, wow. Yep, I'm not. Like eight bucks for a Corona. Just, ah. I can only imagine the prices have probably gone up. Yeah, I think it's just too bad because it used to be uh, what used to do is. I, I go out of uh, Portland or Tacoma and uh, fly down there for uh, Memorial Day weekend to cook the mold of mildew that built up inside of us because we've had such a cold, miserably wet uh, winter. And uh, go down there, sit around the uh, hotel and, uh, the, or not the hotel, but the pool and cook that mold right out of you. I can tell you what, 95 degrees felt wonderful after being in that cold, miserable thing. And then, yeah, and then 
inexpensive. The flight was ridiculously low priced. You know, it just, they just, I don't know what the heck happened, but they kind of lost it, in my opinion. Yeah, that's being negative. So, There we go. Mm -hmm. Put that there. I know I'll need it again. Wow. Holy cow, I didn't realize it's that late already. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to have to call it here. Well, at least we've gotten some some details starting to come about. And tomorrow we'll really hit these buildings some more. And uh, we'll get these signs, start seeing all these signs coming in and uh, glowing against the buildings and stuff like that. It'll really start coming out. But that's where we're going with it tomorrow. We'll get to, at least we made some good Good progress today, getting it there. And uh, like I said, I probably put a lot more detail on some of these buildings and stuff like that, you know, but, uh, and these buildings will all have, will start seeing lights on them and everything else. So that's where we're going with this one. We'll have all these signs. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of like, kind of in its own way, like a Vegas, an old Vegas strip, you know. Okay, doke. All right, seriously, thank you so much for joining me. Take care, stay healthy, stay safe. Uh, hope to see you back on tomorrow at uh, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh, we'll get more work done on this one. Once the detail starts coming in, I think you'll start seeing where we're going with this one. But uh, I got to have a bunch of stuff going on here, so I think that'll be pretty cool. Yeah, all right. You take care. Seriously, hope to see you tomorrow. Whoa! <laughs> Monday! 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 <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.